Uh, in this video, I will determine the irreducible representations of the vibration modes um, of the ammonia molecule, NH3. So over here, uh, you are looking at the character table of this uh, uh, C3V point group. Uh, we have E identity element, we have C3 element, we have sigma V element. And uh, um, there are a total of six symmetry operations. Therefore, the order of this uh, C3V character table is six. Uh, we can also verify the order of the table here. We just uh, uh, square the character under the identity element column and then sum it up. We get uh, six as well. And uh, let's look at the uh, number of atoms that remain in the original positions after a symmetry operation. Again, E stands for the identity element. Basically, it means doing nothing. Therefore, uh, this nitrogen atom and then three hydrogen atoms remain in their original positions after a E symmetry operation. So you put a number four here. C3. So that means uh, you rotate this NH3 molecule about this threefold rotation axis, either 120 degrees or 240 degrees. Uh, only one atom, this nitrogen atom, remains in the original position. So therefore, we put a number one here. And also, there's uh, uh, sigma v operations, three of those. And then you have sigma v, sigma v prime, sigma, sigma v double prime. Um, each sigma v contains two atoms. And uh, these two atoms remain in their original positions after a reflection. So we put number two here. And then we need the characters of x, y, and z. Um, because each atom can have three different motions in three directions. But how can we get this? Well, it's already in the character table. We just look for x, y, and z. So uh, x, y, we have a character of two here, and z has a character of one. So if we double click this, it's just b4 plus b6. b4 is for z, b6 is for x and y. And then it's just really easy to um, drag it to get the characters uh, under the uh, C3 symmetry operations and under the sigma v operations. Again, if we double click this, it's just this number uh, plus this number. And then we need to uh, just uh, do a simple multiplication here um, to get the um, reducible representations of the XYZ motions of uh, the uh, four atoms in total. So that's why, uh, again, it's just uh, you do this uh, multiplication between this row and this row. And we get 12, 0, 2. Uh, we're not done yet because in each class of the uh, symmetry operations, we may have one or even more than one symmetry operation. So over here, we need to have uh, these three numbers multiplied by the number of symmetry operations in each class. So again, uh, this is B11 times B1, so this number times B1 here. And then we simply drag it from left to right. And if I double click the six, uh, just this number two times the number of symmetry operations in this uh, sigma V class. All right, uh, and then we multiply these three numbers with the characters in the A1 row and then uh, the three characters in the A2 row, and then the three characters in the uh, E row. Uh, this E stands for a degeneracy of two. So again, uh, what, this is uh, uh, what I did. This number multiplied by this number, and I just uh, simply drag it here. All right, and then I drag it down. Uh, so if you double click this number, it's simply 12. Again, this 12 is the same number. I used the dollar sign here. So B dollar 12, so this number um, multiplied by the character uh, in the uh, row of uh, this E, a uh, degeneracy of two, so over here. And then we sum up uh, all these uh, three numbers here. So this is the sum for A1. And uh, we drag it down. We get the sum for A2. We get the sum for E. Again, those are the sum uh, of the characters. The sums divided by the order of the character table, which is 6. Um, 
you actually uh, get the uh, irreducible representations of the 12 motions of the four atoms. Why 12 motions? Again, each atom may move in the x or y or z direction. So uh, you have a total of 12 motions. So among the 12 motions, you may form uh, 3A1, 1A2, and 4E. Again, E is uh, doubly degenerate. So basically, it's just 3 plus 1, and then plus 4 times 2, you get 12, a total of 12. And then we have to subtract the translations and rotations. How do we do this? Actually, it's uh, given in the calculator table. So we have X translation and Y translation here. Together, they form a E, irreducible representation. And there's a Z translation, that's A1. And you have rotation about the Z axis, that's A2. And you have rotations about X in y axis that's another e so basically you need, just need to subtract uh, the three translations and three rotations over here again you just subtract 1a1 you subtract 1a2 you subtract two e's so that's why uh, we have this three minus one that's the translation in the z direction and over here uh, this is just a one minus the number of irreducible representation over here, that's just the rotation about z. And then uh, this number is a 4 minus 2. It's just because if you look at this, you have xy translation corresponding to e symmetry and also rotation about x and y corresponding to e symmetry. So there are two doubly degenerate e irreducible representations uh, for translation and rotation. So again, uh, after you subtract the three translations and three rotations, you have the vibrational modes. You have 2A1, 0A2, and 2 doubly degenerate E.